Hi humans, welcome back to the Architects Workshop. I'm Lola Afto. In today's story, I'm going to show you guys how to make what you see on your screen right now. How to create an intersecting roof where you can have gable ends and hip ends combined together. How you can create it easily, attach the walls, and it's a really simple and fun tutorial. So, don't no waste no time. Let's just get started. So we have our walls over here. So to create our roof, what we just do is we go under roof, under the architecture tab, click roof by footprint. You click that one and say, yeah, yeah, we want that. Right. And you go, you pick walls, then set your overhang. Mine is already set to 600. You can set it to whatever you want, 600, 1,000, 5 million, whatever your heart desires. Do it. Okay, if you're working in inches of it, please feel free to adjust appropriately. So I'm just going to hover over one wall. Yes, I want my overhang to be outside the wall. You might want yours to be inside. I'm not judging. And then I'm just going to click tab and you see that the entire wall gets highlighted. So I'm just going to click. So if I click OK now. You see that everything comes up as a hip proof, but we want some gable ends. So we could try adding gable ends like in the middle here and maybe at the back here. So we're just going to click on the roof again, click edit. Then we're going to click on this line and we're going to come up here and uncheck this defined slope button. If you can't see it at the top here, it will be in your properties panel under constraints. So just make sure that box is unchecked. So we've removed the slope on this one. So let's try putting another gable end on this line. So we're going to click the line and uncheck, uncheck the defined slope button and we're going to click OK. So you see that we've been able to create gable ends easily. Now that we've been able to create our gable ends, we want to attach a roof to the wall. So again, you click hover over one wall, click your tab button, all of them get highlighted. You click on it, attach top to base and click on your roof. That's all. So they are all joined. You have a lovely roof with gable and hip extensions all intersecting beautifully. And it will take you less than a minute to do and you seem like a pro. That's it for today's tutorial. I've been your host, Lola of Tor, on this Easy, easy, easy Revit tutorial. Hope you liked it. Like, share this video. I don't know why I'm still talking, but this is awkward. Please just watch the next video.